Welcome and thanks again for coming. Let's get into a nice comfortable seated position. Either you can be kneeling or you can be sitting on your bums, whatever feels comfortable to you. Okay, so happy Friday. My name is Darcy and this is my son Bruner and Rieger and I feel so grateful for them for all the help in teaching yoga and it makes it really fun to see you guys and to have them here. So thanks for being here. <laughs> so today's theme is things that make you feel good. And stories really make me feel good. So I'd like to start today's class with a little story, a little fable that takes place long ago. It takes place before there were cars, and it takes place in a small village where everybody knows everybody. So this is how the story goes. Once upon a time, there was a farmer. And this farmer, he had a horse and he depended on this horse for his livelihood, you know, to tend the soil and to do all the work at the farm. Well, one day the farmer puts the horse out to pasture. The horse breaks through the fence, gets away. The townspeople say, oh no, poor farmer, what bad luck he has. Well, and the farmer says, good luck, <clears throat> bad luck, who knows? Well, the next day, wouldn't you know, the horse comes back, but he brings three horse friends, three. Oh my goodness, now the farmer has four horses and the townspeople go, oh, Farmer, what good luck you have. You're so lucky. And the farmer says, good luck, bad luck, who knows? Well, the next day, the farmer's son decides, I'm going to tame these horses. So he jumps on the horses and he starts to ride them. And wouldn't you know, whoa, he falls off, breaks his leg. Oh my goodness, broken leg. The townspeople all say, poor Farmer, what bad luck he has. Farmer says, good luck, bad luck, who knows? Well, the next day, the army marches into town. Bum, 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 bum. And they're taking all the young sons to go march off to war. But the son can't go because he broke his leg. Well, the townspeople, what do they say? Oh, what good luck. And what do you think the farmer said? Good luck, bad luck, who knows? Yeah, that's right. Good luck, bad luck, who knows? So why I like this story is because when you replace the idea of why is this happening to me with what can I learn from this, everything shifts. So that's why today we're going to practice and think about the things that make us happy to help us shift, shift that thinking, okay? So let's begin, because you know something that makes me happy is singing and dancing. So I'd like you all to stand up and our warm up today is gonna be a little song called Let's Get the Rhythm. And so there's actions to it and there's words. And you can join in the singing or if you prefer, you can just do the actions, okay? So follow along, it goes like this. Dr. Knickerbocker number nine, I just got home and I'm feeling fine. So let's get the rhythm in our head, ding dong. Let's get the rhythm in our head, ding dong. Dr. Knickerbocker number nine, I just got home and I'm feeling fine. So let's get the rhythm in our heads, clap, clap. Let's get the rhythm in our heads, clap, clap. Let's get the rhythm in our head, ding dong. Let's get the rhythm in our head, ding dong. Don't you make your back number nine? I just got home and I'm feeling fine. So let's get the rhythm in our hips, sway, sway. Let's get the rhythm in our hips, sway, sway. Let's get the rhythm in our hands, clap, clap. Let's get the rhythm in our hands, clap, clap. Let's get the rhythm in our heads. <laughs> Let's get the rhythm in our heads. Ding dong. Don't you think about number nine? Just got home and I'm feeling fine. So let's get the rhythm in our knees. Great, great. 
Let's get the rhythm in our knees. Let's get the rhythm in our hips. Sway, sway. Let's get the rhythm in our hips. Sway, sway. Let's get the rhythm in our hands. Clap, clap. Let's get the rhythm in our hands. Clap, clap. Let's get the rhythm in our hands. Ding dong. Let's get the rhythm in our hands. Ding dong. Come on. Talk to me about the number nine. I just got home and I'm feeling fine. So let's get the rhythm in our feet. Stomp, stomp. Let's get the rhythm in our feet. Stomp, stomp. Let's get the rhythm in our knees. <laughs> let's get the rhythm in our knees. <laughs> let's get the rhythm in our hips. Sway, sway. Let's get the rhythm in our hips. Sway, sway. Woo. Let's get the rhythm in our hands. Clap, clap. Let's get the rhythm in our hands. Clap, clap. Let's get the rhythm in our head. Ding dong. Let's get the rhythm in our head. Ding dong. And take a bow. Woo, what a warm up. I am warm. I'm not warm. And I feel good. That's okay, Grace. You do what you're doing, okay? All right. So, that does feel good, right? Getting your heart rate up, singing, moving your body. That definitely is something that helps me to feel better. You know what else helps me feel better? See my shirt off, huh? Is sunshine. Do you ever notice that when the sun's out? You just feel a little, a little lighter, don't you? So let's do a sun salutation, okay? And we'll salute the sun. So let's start at the top of our mat. Straight my mat. Standing at the top of our mat. Stand nice and tall. Feel as tall as you can with your shoulders down and your hands by your side. Let's take one breath in here and a breath out. Nice. On this breath in, we're going to bring our arms up and reach up. Very good. On this breath out, we're going to bring our hands to the floor. Good. Now let's bend our knees and we're going to hop these feet back into a plank. Good job, boys. And come off the way down. Boom. Good. <laughs> Untuck the toes. Push your hips into the ground and we'll breathe in and rise up into a cobra here. Good. All right. Let's calm down and then push up onto your knees. Tuck your toes under. Bring your bum back towards your heels. So look at this. Now I'm going to push into my toes and my hands to lift my bum up to the ceiling. Downward dog, yeah! You can walk your dog if you like. I always like to walk my dog my first time. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, the bird is really walking. <laughs> Beautiful. Why not? Okay, now let's bend our knees, come up on our toes, look forward. And your choice, you can step, hop, or jump your feet to your hands. Good. Okay, from here, we're going to breathe in and reach up. Reach to the sun and breathe out, bring your hands to the center. <sighs> that does make me feel good too. Think about the sunshine and the sun salutation. Okay, another thing that helps me to feel better is a walk in nature. So let's pretend you're walking in nature. And maybe you're, you know, maybe you're on a quick march, or maybe you're on a slow march, and you're seeing all the lovely, lovely things in nature. So let's see what we see. What do you think we could see? What do I see? What do you think this is? A frog, yeah, totally. So let's turn it into frogs. We're on our walk in nature that makes us feel better. And we see some frogs, we're gonna hop around. Yeah, maybe, I did a 360 frog. 360 the other way. Yeah, three years hopping from lily pad to lily pad. I love it. Very good. Okay, let's bring our frog down. Let's hear our <laughs> Very good. Oh, look! Now I see a butterfly. So let's kind of rock back onto your bum, put the soles of your feet together, your knees come wide. And here's a little butterfly. And we can even flutter the wings. If you like, if that doesn't feel good, you can hold the legs still. But what feels good? Maybe that flutter feels nice. Yeah. Can you make your spine tall here? Yeah, lovely. Let's do this for one more big breath in. And a big breath out. What else did we see? Oh, weird. I see a camel. 
camel. <laughs> yeah, I see the camel. So I'm going to show you guys how we're going to come into camel. So we're going to come onto our knees like this, and then stand up on our knees. So now I'm nice and tall on my knees. Yeah. Take your hands and place them on your low back so your thumbs are pointing out. Yeah. So you can kind of see that, yeah? Good. Okay, so from here, before we, we're going to do two phases of camel. Phase one is where we're going to just gently push our hips forward. Let our chest and heart rise up to the ceiling and maybe look up. Okay, so feel that heart shining up. Awesome. So this is camel phase uno. Okay, so let's come out of that and roll into our child's pose just to give our backs a little break before phase two. So here we are in child's pose. Take three breaths here. Let your neck and head relax. And then on your next inhale, we'll rise up tall on our knees again. I'm going to tuck my toes under so my heels are pointing up towards the ceiling. See that? So now we have an option. Option one is to take that phase one camel we did before. Or phase two, from here, if I feel comfortable, I'm going to reach back for one heel, then the other. But I'm really thinking about keeping my heart like that. Yes, beautiful, Regan. Really good. So Regan's really holding his heart up towards the sky, almost like sending love vibes out. Yeah, and then when you're ready to come out, bring one hand back a little back, the other, and then come back into that child's pose for a little rest. Yeah, give that back a nice rest. So we've seen a frog on our walk, a butterfly, two camels, <laughs> and there's also Bruner, a turtle which Bruner loves turtles. So we're gonna see a turtle on our walk. So let's come onto our bums. And with turtle, we're gonna have our knees bent, our feet are flat on the floor, and we bring our arms in through and underneath. So this can be your turtle, or you can start working on straightening the legs, maybe bending forward more, more, more. So depending on what feels good, I want you to really listen to the feelings your body's saying in your shoulders, in your inner thighs, and your legs behind your knees. How does this feel? Take one big breath, and then let that breath out. Good. Oh, Bruno, good no, job, Regan. Turtle too. <laughs> oh, good job. Okay, let's walk up out of that and then we'll sit with our legs crossed. So, another thing that makes me feel better is baking. Do you guys like baking? Yeah. I like what happens after I bake is the eating of the cookies. <laughs> so, let's pretend we're baking. So, let's put all of our ingredients in flour, sugar, eggs. Um, that powdered the sugar up to make powdered sugar. Yeah. <laughs> and then let's stir it all together. So bring your hands on your knees and start to draw circles. And we can pretend we're mixing up all those good ingredients for our baking. That helps us to feel good. <laughs> yeah, big circles. We want to scrape all the stuff off the side of the bowl. Yeah. And then let's go in the opposite direction just to make sure we've got all the stuff off the bowl. Yeah. Just gotta put in a saw on a swish blade and try and crack it open. <laughs> it's just spinning. <laughs> okay, so now let's pretend we're making some sort of dough. Like maybe we're making cinnamon buns. So let's come onto our hands and knees, and we're gonna knead the dough. And this is actually gonna be a finger stretch. So this, I'll come in kind of close. So on the floor, you'll be kind of stretching the fingers gently to. Um, stretch those fingers, which we don't always do. So it will look something like this. I'm going to stretch my fingers. Just gentle little pulses to stretch. I even like to get my fingers to do the splits. I'll do like these fingers and then the next. And just little gentle stretches, though it doesn't have to hurt. So that just feels good. We're pretending to knead the dough as we stretch <laughs> our fingers. Good. All right. So baking makes me feel good, and also art. So things like painting. So let's pretend we're painting now. 
So I'm painting with big strokes. Paint with me, Rieger. We'll paint and we'll have big strokes coming up and down. And up and down. Yeah, beautiful. And then let's come up and then let's reach over here and paint something over there. That's beautiful. And then we can reach to the side, paint over there. We're painting the sun. Yeah. And then let's come down and we'll paint with the other hand. Big strokes up and down. So I love being creative and art is a nice way, painting or drawing is a nice way to kind of help yourself feel better sometimes. So let's keep our hand up this time and again we'll stretch to one side. Painting the sun. Painting over here. Art. And painting from the other side. Ah, lovely. And let's roll our shoulders up while we're here because we're here and now and it feels good. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, are you tired from that? Yeah, you have a tired day. That's okay. It's Friday. I think we're all tired on Friday, aren't we? Yeah, the week is almost over. Week's almost up. We've done it. Okay. So next thing that also helps me to feel better, feel good, is gardening. So I'm going to pretend that I have a shovel and I'm going to dig down and I'm going to turn the soil. So here we're kind of doing squats. Yeah, squatting down. Good job, and we're turning the soil so that the soil will be nice and aerated so that the seeds will get to sprout and grow. So turn the soil. There's no work in the <laughs> Okay, so we've turned the soil. Now we're going to lay the seeds, and I'm doing it in a fun, creative way. This is Bruner's favorite pose, which is Warrior Three. So we're going to pretend we have a bag of seeds, and then we have to reach the seeds in front of us and sprinkle the seeds. <laughs> this is my creative way of getting warrior three into our class. <laughs> so sprinkle those seeds. Yeah, so we're gonna get them over there. We're gonna sprinkle. <laughs> and then let's try the other side. Let's sprinkle, what leg did I have up? So let's sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I did that one already. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. 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 Ooh, we did it. So now, we're the seeds. We're the seeds we just sprinkled. Okay, so hug yourself as tight as you can. So I'm really hugging my knees, and I can even bring my chin to my chest, so I round through the neck. And you're balancing a little on your toes here too, so it's a bit of a balance. <laughs> okay, from here, the water came, there was some rain yesterday, and the sun's out today, so we start to grow. So let's go talk. Nice and tall, step back so you can see. Even up on your tippy toes, if that feels good. And we're beautiful, sprout in the wind. I love this one. <laughs> so beautiful, especially right now with all the things blooming outside. So beautiful. Okay, she's back. I love bean that we have in our garden. It has like the two leaves. Yes, we have a bean with two leaves. It looks like that. <laughs> okay, another thing that makes me feel so much better is playing games. So we're going to try to play a game virtually, see how it works. Bruno, you want to play with us? Um, uh, we have played a game along with Stuart today. He um, did. So what we're going to play is go, 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 stop. So the way it's going to work is when I say stop, you're going to try to come into Garden Dasana, which is eagle pose, which is the one where you, you wrap your hands together and your legs around. But it can look like this. You know, your hands can just come together and your legs together. Or if you want, you can wrap the backs of your head, hands and just one little wrap, or you can wrap right around. So whichever eagle you want to do. You want to do it. Yeah, so you're going to try that, okay? So when I say stop, you're going to eagle and try not to move. If I see you move, I'll be like, you're out, you're out. Okay, <laughs> here we go. All right. Go, 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 stop! I see a little bit of wakey while you guys are doing pretty good. Oh, I'll let you have that one. Okay, this time, see if you can go on the other leg when you say stop, okay? So we're going to try to get into eagle on the other side. You ready? Go, 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 stop! <laughs> Impressive. Holy moly, you guys are good. Look at that focus. We should do it. Our balance pose is like this more often. Do you guys want to play another round? Give me yeah. thumbs up for yes. 
Yes, okay, good. <laughs> Should we try it with a different note? A different yeah. balance pose? Maybe tree? Do you guys want to do tree? Or maybe if we have to pull forward. Well, let's do a balance because then it's fun because you might wobble. So tree, you have the three options here. You can grip your toes down. You can bring your foot a little higher up on your calf or up into your thigh, just not on your knee, not on your knee, okay? So when I say stop, you're gonna find your tree, okay? Here we go. Go, 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 <laughs> Man, you guys are quality trees, beautiful trees. All right, let's try it one more round. And this time, try to do your tree on the other leg, okay? Here we go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 stop. <laughs> I saw you. <laughs> Very good. We got that round of applause. Big round. Beautiful. Okay, so playing games definitely makes me feel better. And do you know this is a this is a yoga thing? The thing that makes you feel better is getting upside down. Yeah, getting upside down actually helps you to feel a little bit better in the head, helps you to concentrate, helps you to focus, things like that. Let's get it. So reverse favorite pose, the shoulder stand. And Reader, can I ask you to come here? And I'm gonna get you to demonstrate the pose. So you're gonna lie down on your back. Can you demonstrate it sideways? Yeah. Okay, Rieger's gonna lie on his back. And okay, so can you push up into your shoulder pose? So the thing I wanted to show you when you're in shoulder stand is that when you're here, you don't want to move your neck left or right. You don't want to look. You want to only look up to the ceiling. So Rieger's only looking up at his toes and up at the ceiling. Okay, so when we try this, we're gonna to try to remember not to move our necks. Okay, Rieger, you can come down, beautiful. Another option for you guys to try, if you don't really feel comfortable in shoulder stand, is called bridge. And the same thing applies, is I'm not gonna turn my head. So I'm gonna show you, without turning my head, I'm only looking up, I bring my hands by my side, my heels close to my bum, and then I push up here. So I lift up. Now here, I'm not looking at the camera, even though I wanna see you guys, because I'm remembering I gotta protect my neck. Okay, so I'm gonna come down. You guys wanna try it? All right, let's lay on our backs. Yeah, we'll lay on our backs. I'll come this way, I think. Can you go that way? Lay down on your backs. And remember, we're only looking up at the ceiling. Bring your hands by your sides. Okay, now if you're gonna do your bridge, press your heels into the ground and lift your hips. If you're gonna do Shoulder stand, you're going to rock your knees toward your chest, place your hands on the bottom of your low back there, and then make sure that you're looking at your toes. You can wiggle your toes. I always play. I like to do like scissors and silly things, so that's up to you, a little playfulness. But we're upside down, which makes us feel a bit better. It's really good for us. It's really good for us. Okay, three, two, one. When you come down, come down slowly. You can roll up. And then, good job, Peter. <laughs> so, getting upside down feels good. And another thing that always feels good is just water. So, either taking a bath sometimes helps you feel better, or drinking water, Bruner said, that's totally right. Or sometimes just sitting by a creek and hearing the flow of the water, right? It's beautiful. Or the sound of rain. So let's pretend that we're sitting on this beautiful creek and we see some fish. And we'll do fish as our counter pose, the shoulder stand. And what fish looks like, what we're going to do is bring your legs out long. And then I'm going to lean back on my forearms with my elbows down. Yeah, fingers pointing down. Good. From here, I'm going to take the top of my head, the crown of my head, and I'm going to reach it toward the mat. So this is called fish. And another thing you can do if you want to try is lick your feet. I don't know if you want to try that, but it's something you can try. I'm a fish. Here's my fishy tail. And then bring your feet down. And then you can relax. So let everything cool. Relax. Let your 
Yeah, we're getting into Shavasana. You want to join us for Shavasana for a minute? Okay. So that's another thing that can help you feel better is relaxation, quiet, stillness. So at the end of every practice, we've been doing a Shavasana, which is practicing. Which is what you do in every year. Yeah. Every year, the class you have to do. Yeah, that's right. So I'd like you to maybe get in a position like a starfish. Maybe you like to lie on your side if that's your choice. Or maybe even on your tummy. So what feels really relaxing to you? Do you want to lay? How do you want to lay down? Okay. And I'd like you to do that. And I'd like you to scan your body from your toes all the way out. And if you find something that doesn't feel comfortable, like maybe your head doesn't feel comfortable, you might want to fold your mat to make more of a pillow. Oh, that's more comfortable. Or maybe you want to let your feet just flop open so you feel more comfortable. Hands relax by your side. Okay, close your eyes. And I'd like you to imagine that your toes are floating. They're so light and so relaxed. Your toes are floating. And then your feet, that relaxed lightness is spreading to your feet and your feet feel light and relaxed. And then that nice, warm, relaxed feeling of lightness goes up your legs and now your legs feel relaxed. Let your legs feel nice and heavy and light. <laughs> light kneecaps, heavy legs, I guess. Let your arms relax. Your arms are so light. Maybe you're on a cloud. Maybe your yoga mat's a cloud. Yeah? Let your head feel relaxed and light. Your neck is light. Your tongue is relaxed in your mouth and your eyes are relaxed. They're light in their sockets. And for the next minute, we're gonna practice this stillness, this quiet, that's so good for us. And I'll let you know when we're done, okay? about halfway there. See if you can take three more slow, long, smooth breaths. Yeah, you're doing good. One more breath. Wow. Now let's see if we can wake up really slow here. Let's start by just taking one big breath in. Fill up with more air this time. And then let it out with a sigh. Good. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Roll out wrists and ankles. And then if you want, take a big starfish stretch. Mm. Feels good. Let's all roll to one side. What side are you going to roll? Did I know roll to my right? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> and we'll slowly find our way up to seated position. Yeah. Yeah. Very good job today, guys. I'm using my sweater for a That was a good idea. So, not only does practicing stillness help me feel better, but practicing gratitude does too. So let's bring our hands to heart center, any way you like. And let's be grateful for all the things we are learning, for all the people in our lives who help us in our day. Let's be grateful for this time together. And if you would please repeat after me, may I be happy. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be healthy. May I be at peace. May I be at peace. Okay, let's send this out. Send it out to all of you. You can see each other. Send it out to all the people outside and all the people of the world. May you be happy. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be healthy. May you be at peace. May you be at peace. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you had fun with the theme of things that make us feel good. Namaste. 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 <laughs>